This video is gonna be a burger with all the fixings. You're gonna hang out with me for a night as I go to the container store to try to find a solution for our toy shelf. It's a mess and I don't like it anymore. I've been watching Cast the Clutterbug. I'm a butterfly, I'm gonna lean into some clear storage. I also need a solution for our kids' sports gear. We have four sports that we're juggling right now and this $8 solution from Target is not cutting it. I've got all the stuff in one spot, it's not working. We're also gonna to go to the Annapolis Town Center, have some dinner and do some shopping. We're gonna hit Anthropology, J. Jill. Pretty excited to have found a pair of jeans in a lower size that I squeezed my body into. And at the end, we're just gonna tackle that toy shop and get her done. So let's start at the container store. I have been binging the Clutterbug videos lately. Uh, Cass, you know her, you love her. If you don't, go watch her. I'll leave links below. She's been doing a series lately on each organizing style. My husband is a bee, took the quiz. I am a butterfly and the kids are probably butterflies, according to Cass. And she said something that really resonated with me. So we need organizing solutions that require zero brain power, that don't have to require effort. We can't open lids. We can't file things away. We need to be able to just toss them in a bill folder or put things in a labeled container. Butterflies don't need lids on their bins. We need it visual, simple, easy, and macro. Just throw it in the bin, be able to see it so we don't forget about it. It's part of the reason we leave clutter out on counters because we have to see it to remember to do something about it. You need to leave your things out or have your important things be seen, but you also don't do details. You are not an A-type perfectionist. You need laid back, simple organizing solutions. Bees are also that way. So my husband and I are very compatible in our clutter creation in our home as are the children. So one thing that has definitely not been working, thank you, Queen Cass, because lids on the toy bins. That makes no sense. Of course we want to quickly, simply clean and throw things in a bin. That's what we want to do. We being me and my three children, eight, five, seven, the one in the middle, seven. I have clear bins. I, I connected with that on some level that I wanted them to be clear so we could see which kind of category toys are inside. But I put them on lids with latches. Like I made it hard for all of us to clean up. I have a favorite one that I really like from Walmart. It's like $5.74 right now, except that my Walmart doesn't have any in stock and, the Wa and Walmart doesn't ship that item to me. So I'm a little bit stuck. And here I am at the container store. The second thing I need is something that's going to help me organize kids sports gear to enable them to get out of the door. Uh, we had baskets on top of our shelf labeled baseball, karate, gymnastics, swim. When we were leaving the house for whatever activity, I would grab the things, pack the bag, pack snacks, water, activity bag for whoever is not participating in the sport, etc. So what I did was made ridiculous checklists for my children because <laughs> now I'm going to empower them to pack backpacks to get out the door for their own sports. Obviously I'm going to have to check the bags and help make sure we did it correctly because we don't want to get to swim class without a swimsuit. But um, what I did was take something we already had, an $8 thing I got from Target that is actually bent it's not a good solution. And I put a label on each drawer for each one of my children. And I put in each drawer, I put their baseball, swim, gymnastics, and karate gear all in the one drawer. So now I have four different sports gear mixed into one drawer. And I'm actually going to try to expect my children to fish out what they need to pack their bag. So I've made it harder than I used to do. So what I want to do is come up with a solution that is going to organize each of their things so that they can pack their own bag. See, that counts as a lid. That's not gonna work. Oh, that can work. <gasps> that could really work. The individual, yes. Modular stacking. I would need like 12 of these. That's probably not. All right, so we should, okay. 
I just like this. It's $50. It's too much. But I like that. I don't need a solution for shoes, though. My husband recently said we need more hangers. And I said we, I said we need less clothes. He did not agree. Oh my gosh, I used to have enough shoes to fill that and then some. And I used to keep them in shoe boxes. Not like this, but like, you know, dollar store shoe boxes. And would take a picture of my shoes and then tape it on the front. And I had like 50 pairs of shoes. I can't close that. Mm -hmm. More hangers. God bless. That is a lot of hangers to keep an inventory of. Now we're talking. I have this. I have one of these. Don't I? No, I donated it. <laughs> um, but then the kids can't reach, so that's not a good solution. Did you ever see something and you're like, yes, that's been missing from my life forever? I was thinking a car, but my car's pretty organized back there. I don't really need it. But it's so practical, easy to clean. Moving on, before I buy things I don't need. Ooh, pretty. Let's go over here. I have these. <laughs> it's about the price I paid on Amazon for it, so. These are pretty, aren't these pretty? I'm also going to need to come up with a solution for photographs. Today is not that day, but I am going to keep my eye out. I have a bajillion, it's a real number. I have a bajillion photographs downstairs. I am going to get rid of a bunch once I figure out my decision making process. And uh, I just like this, but lids, lids are butterflies, no no's. See, clear bit. Right, oh, that's crap though. So I'm going to poke a hole in that in two seconds. At least somebody in my house. Now, this is. Okay. You got to be kidding me. Okay. Well, this is not the solution for $40, but for toys, but I do like it. Golly, these small ones are flimsy. They're so flimsy, like they're probably in my hand. Okay, I knew that coming here. I knew it was going to be expensive. I don't know. Inflation's here. I get it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just not willing to spend the money on these kinds of things. Oh, that's pretty. This is just pretty. Oh, it's Kamari. Why can't I get? Oh, it's a drawer. I was trying to lift it. It's a drawer. It's cute. You see, that's glass, and that's the same price, forty dollars. These are great solutions if you're renting to put those various places. Fortunately, we had hooks already in the house. Speaking of hooks, so the drawer organizers, seven ninety nine. Rhinestone stone for your toothbrush? Is this a thing? Are we doing this now? I just stick it in the cup and then just wash the cup each week. I don't know. Is this a thing? Are we drying are we drying our toothbrushes on drying stones now? Let me know. I may double back if you all say yes. I do like this company though, Made Smart. They're also on Amazon. Um, I do like this company. I do like their products. I have a couple of Made Smart things in underneath my kitchen sink. I'm not having very much luck solving either of my problems at an affordable price. I feel like these would be in my budget. <laughs> Stop it. One of these is $20. Well, the one I have is twice as wide with three for $8. There's not clearance at Target. Something like this could work. This one's 10. These colors are nice though, aren't they? These colors are fun. 
We're getting into kitchen, which is going to be a very dangerous section for me. Self-control. We can do it. It's still a choice. Even as a minimalist, I still have to choose not to spend money on things I don't need. It is still an active choice to live with less. Ooh, how fancy these are. <gasps> I can't get it open. It's airtight. Can't get it open. So I use these. I use OXOs for all my baking stuff. I don't really need, I have, I need a better one for brown sugar, if I'm being honest with myself. Don't need a big one. I just need a better one. Because the one I have is like four things and it's not, it's not great. It doesn't hold it. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not big enough to hold a package of brown sugar. So you end up with like filling your container and then also having extra that you have to bag or use up before you even start using the stuff you put in your container. So I could really use a smaller one. This is too big. This is roughly the size of the other one. How much are you? 1.7, 2.8. I was just thinking I wanted something in between. And uh, OXO was like, of course you do. It's 1.9. Winner, winner. Where are you? $17. I feel like you're good though. I mean, I love OXO. Easy to clean. It has been reliable. It has not broken down on me all this time. <gasps> um, stars, what can I use this for? Because, hi, you are so cute. I could use this in gardening. Right? We're scooping candy. We don't have candy, but. So cute. I don't need it. I'm gonna just press shop for a sec on this guy. Amazon has it for a dollar less. That's not really a big deal. Alright, Target didn't have that one. I'm not going to get it right now because this is not why I'm here and I don't really need it at this time. It's not like a hindrance on my life. What are you talking about? Brown sugar. Brown sugar saver? Do you guys have that problem? Like your brown sugar just when it gets really hard? Soak in water for 15 minutes, pat dry, then secure to underside of lid. Brown sugar saver can be reused. Simply soak disc again. And brown sugar begins to harden. Well, how much is it? Oh. Well, it doesn't help me. Seven dollars. Well, like cheap, cheap. Maybe I'm cheap, cheap. I don't know. These are nice. Holy cow! Oh, they're plastic. Thought they were glass. Faith and flour. Her channel, she just showed these, that she uses these for her veggies. And I was watching her clean them up. And she said it actually elongates the life of her fruits and veggies. So something to think about if that's an issue for you. It's a nice thing. Holy cow. Clear bin, no lid. That's my jam. Let's see. Oh, bananas. Could you spend like six hours in here? <laughs> Do I need a jam jar? No. Do I want a jam jar? You betcha. You bet I do. Oh, look at these. These are so sweet. I don't know what they say, but I like the colors. Ooh. Small craft organizer tents. If you're into crafting, these are actually, the prices are actually not bad. Because you got the little organization right there. That's pretty cool. They're actually better priced than the ones at Michael's. The latch mates or whatever they are. I think they're giant post-its. I wish I had a need for those, because I love them. Oh, they're only eight dollars. When you're doing like a lot of planning, like 
like, and you could write on them and pop them on a wall and move them around. Like if you're story, right, you're like story mapping, something like that. That would be good for this. Or annual planning. That could be fun. Baskets upon baskets. I actually like these. I like these a lot. Please be expensive. Please be expensive. Too expensive. Yay for me. Anyway. Clear lidless for toys. I do not think I'm going to figure out the solution for sports gear here. I mean, even if I found something in the 10 to $12 range, I would be okay with that because Walmart does not have in stock the one that I want. Man, if these were clear, it goes my... She says, look. Hello. I think you are my toy solution. And you are reasonably priced. I said if it was like eight, ten, twelve dollars. <gasps> will you fit on the shelf? Or will you fit on the shelf? Length, width, height. Nearly six inches, seven inch clear. Um I wanna get the I wanna get these, but I don't know if they'll fit. But if they don't fit, do they have handles? Yes! Bingo! Because I'm gonna get the big ones because if they don't fit for toys, they will work for cleaning products. Because I also need to organize cleaning products. That just was not on my list for this week. Question is, how many do I want? This is the answer. I'm so excited we found an answer. And look, there's the mini ones. My dog would eat this, or the kids would break that one. But I feel I'm, I mean, these are probably gonna break too. Let's be real. I'm drawn to this because it hides clutter. That's not the way my brain thinks, and it's not the way the kids think. So go with what you go with what you are. I'm a butterfly. Fly. Butterfly, fly. Get your bins. Oh, that works. I believe I just threw that bin. Look, they even have cleaning products here. Oh, Blue Land. I heard good things about them. I mean, these are 10 bucks, but they're compostable. Isn't that interesting? Oh, they have their own line of like detergent stuff, I guess. Glass cleaner, laundry shelf, laundry soap, laundry soap, scented vinegar. What do you need that for? Uh, surface cleaner, iron water. You're gonna need some help there. If this just says ingredients water, I'm gonna be really confused. Water, essential oils, and fragrance. Oh, fragrance. That's a dangerous word when you're looking at ingredients. Non-toxic, biodegradable, and allergen-free? Cruelty-free? This is all really interesting. I'm just trying to understand why you wouldn't just use tap water. That's what I use. Tell me. Educate me. Are we using special ironing water? John Mayer. Like the singer? I mean, yeah, I get this, but $21? Two capfuls. Oh my gosh, I would use this in like a week. It's pretty, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's really pretty. I feel like I found the cheapest thing in here. That's okay. So for sports gear, I didn't figure out what I wanted. I didn't find it. I don't think my solution is here. I also haven't decided 100% on where I even want it in the house. So I'm just sort of blindly searching for a solution, which isn't great. But this is what the solution I was looking for, for choice. So I'm pretty happy about that. No bag if that's what you're going okay. for. Yeah, I can carry those out. Thank you so much. I'm okay with where we landed, where that plane landed. We added at 50, 82. $50.82, so it's like $2.05 more per bin than my usual go-to choice from Walmart. However, the go-to choice from Walmart is bigger for cheaper, but doesn't fit the toy shelf, because I already tried it. Doesn't fit the toy shelf. So I found a solution that fits the toy shelf, but it's a little bit more expensive and in stock. I'm gonna eat some dinner before I go home. We're good. 
I'm parked underneath Target and at the Annapolis Town Center. They have a few restaurants here, so I'm just gonna walk over to the other side of Town Center. That's good, I favor their ranch dressing. I haven't tried that place yet, True Food. Down there is the little shop that I get my bra fittings done. So, it's one row of Annapolis Town Center. Where's oh, a Japanese steakhouse? Yum! How do I get up there? Probably that stairwell. Ethan Allen, Bassett. Oh, look, Japanese steakhouse does. Curbside pickup. I hope, like, no businesses do away with that. <laughs> okay. We'll just go do a little shopping at Annapolis Town Center. I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing so I don't fall down the stairs like, you know. I think that's Restoration Hardware. It's Anthropology right here. I love their stuff. There was like a little tote bag in there once. I went in there. It's like $150. It's crazy. Look at all those white dresses though. We're gonna go in. Oh, oh, oh. This is cute. 128. Not too bad. I mean, I spent that much on Christy Dawn dresses, but they're sustainably made. Okay. 200, 198. It's so cute though. That's where we're headed. Alan Wood Intimates. Some of these stores close, and then there's J. Jill right next door. Some of these close. Wednesday. Yep, they're closed. It's 6.45. Trying to show you in the store. I'll have to try to hit it another day. If you have not ever been fitted for a bra, treat yourself. It's free. Not here. I mean, at the store near you, but... J. Joe. Ooh, there's lights on. That's a good sign. Wednesday till 7. Time. This is cute. <gasps> it has pockets. Hello. Hundred. Not too bad. They actually have more on their website than they keep in their stores. I will leave you a link down below, but I do like the quality of clothes I've bought from J. Jill in the past. Um, in fact, my white sweater that I wear all the time is from J. Jill. This is cute. Mm. I don't $159 love it. Linen capris. Those are nice. Isn't that nice? I don't like my stuff. That's so nice. Thank you. Two pants and then one dress to figure out if I'm a large or an extra large. It does, it's like a, not doing me any favors. So, and I look, I got lots of space. So I'm definitely not an extra large in this dress, but I wasn't 100% like feeling it in the large the way it fit. So I'm not gonna get this. I don't like these. I like these, they're cute. Perfect design. 
then they're sixteens. Look at that. On sale. Was meant to be. Okay, you're down to fifty one ninety. Oh, they're even cheaper. Yeah, they're thirty percent off. Off that of that one. sticker. Ooh. Yeah. You just made my day. Right, skip the bag if we can, please. Okay. Thank sure. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Just toss it in my purse. Bye bye. Thirty percent off the sticker price. Yes. So now I'm really happy. Fifty-one dollars. Wasn't that exactly what I spent at Container Store? That's weird. Did I have two-digit lottery? Four-digit lottery. I should go play fifty-one, fifty-one. It's the next day. Here's the bin I was talking about that has latches and lids. These are. Public enemy number one for butterfly organizers. See? Lids. Cake and lots. I probably could squeeze four, but three makes it a little easier to get them in and out. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just gonna put Magnetiles, lid, no more lid. I know one of these bins is like random cars and dinosaurs. Let's make a pile of foot chest. Cool. Christmas bear. He needs to go in the basement. Alrighty. Trash, wood block. Quite like it clear on top, but we'll see. Okay. I'm afraid I spilled my coffee. Okay. Good talk. That was oddly satisfying. Those fit great like that. Um, this is all stuff that was there that doesn't belong. It belongs elsewhere. That looks way better. I could even put on Lego uh, labels, but I don't need to because you can see straight through. It's to the mo I mean, these are the most frequent things they play with in this room. This one is so similar to that one that I got that I saw in container store, but I got from Amazon. This is all stuff for art supplies for my daughter. She needs to put away in her art cabinet. These are just empty bins. I'm gonna put them in the basement because I suspect my husband will use them in the basement or the garage. These are Legos that just need to go with the other Legos in the other room. Empty basket. Toy shelf. I can even feel how it's less stressful for me as disorganized clutter when I'm sitting here. And hopefully this will help us Keep it this way.